So one of the actions on the toolbar is uh, using this screen capture. And when we click on that camera, we're going to see that a little camera pops up, this capture tool, and it actually does uh, a lot for us beyond the basic um, just capturing a screen. You can use this screen capture within Smart Notebook, but if you're online and you want to capture uh, an image from there as well, you can do that. Um, there are a few different things with the screen capture. This one is the area capture. So that means that you can actually capture a rectangular area that you select yourself. This is the full screen capture. This is capturing the window. And this is just your freehand capture. Under the options, when you click on that, you can choose uh, which tools you want to have seen. Um, and then you can either check, if you check off the capture to a new page, every time that you do a screen capture, it will put it on a new page for you. If you want it just to go on the same page that you are working on, just uncheck that and, uh, and that's what will happen for you. So just as an example, if you already have a picture on your, in your notebook, like this one for example, and we want to um, just capture a part of it so that we're looking at um, just one section of this photo, we can uh, either check the freehand or um, the area capture. But in this case, I'm just going to use the freehand and I'm just going to show you how that works. So when we click on freehand, you'll see that I can click anywhere and if I drag, I'm just kind of creating an outline of what I want it to capture. I'm just doing this really quickly for us here. And when I let go, you'll notice that it gives me um, just exactly that, the screen capture of what I've collected. Um, and as an example of how you might use this is to look at really dissecting the image. So this is looking at the background or maybe we want to look at the foreground. Um, and it really helps us to focus on the image itself and looking at different examples. So that's one way that you can use the screen capture. Another way that you can use a screen capture is um, to capture an image um, from a website. Let's say, for example, you're on the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives. This is a site that I use quite frequently when teaching math. Um, and you can see that I still have my screen capture available to me, even though I don't have Smart Notebook right here. Um, if I click on this, this is the area capture, I can capture I'm going to select the area that I want and it just took a picture for me and when I go back to my notebook you can see that I actually have this image here and in the next episode I'm going to show you why you might want to do that.